So in our last video we added this cover image for a book and if we scroll down we see this like back cover image we uploaded to is massive, it's far bigger than the cover image, it looks a little bit odd. So how can we make these images the same size? So this is what we're going to do in this video at all. So first thing we need to do is go to where it says content types and we're going to go to our book content type. Now if you're not aware of how I've done this you need to check out the shortcuts video. So click on, we could click on Manage Fields and we're going to go to Manage Displays, this option here. So we're going to click, this, click on this option here. So here we can see our displays for our fields. So the field we want to change is the image field. So how do we do this? We click right click here this little like gear lever that's on next to our image field and here we got a choice of image style so let's choose a size so let's choose perhaps this one large 480 by 480 and we're going to click on update then we're going to click on save and let's go back to our website so I'm just going to right click on open new tab and here we can see our Harry Potter type, we scroll down and now we can see the images are closer to the same size. So we scroll down and we can see now our Harry Potter images are the same height, the width is slightly different. So how can we make the width of these images the same? So we're going to go back to our Manage Display Settings and we're going to go down to our images and we're going to click on this option. And we see this uh, option say configure image styles. So I'm going to click on here. And here we can see all our image styles we have the choice of. We have a large image style, which is 480 by 480. Well, that's the one we're using. A medium image style, 220 by 220. And a thumbnail one by 100 and 100. Now, if you want to know where this is, it's um, in your administration. It's in the configuration. So if we go to manage, it would be configurations and it would be under media so we see media and we see it says image styles so that's where you can find this it's also how you can find this image styles option so the style we're using at the moment for these book images is the 480 480 large so let's have a look at this we we'll click on edit and here we can see the style name we could change this if you want and we see where it says effect. We can see it's scaling it by 480 by 480. So that's what it's doing. Let's try to scale it to 480 by 480. Let's have a look at some other styles we can choose. We can choose convert, choose crop, desaturate it, resize, rotate, scale, and scale and crop. So we're going to choose just crop for this one. And we we'll click on then add. And let's try and make it the same size. So we're going to make this 480 by 480 and then we're going to click on add effects okay so we see we've, we've added this crop effect so let's just click on update style and uh, we can see now it's been saved so let's go front to our website and let's refresh and see how this looks now okay so we've got this massive black area because these book images are narrower than 480 pixels so this is this black area is actually not css it's actually your image so what we need to do, we need to make this image smaller. So let's go back to our edit styles. Let's go to crop and we're going to click on that again. And let's try for width. Let's try 300 and see how that looks. So we're going to make this 300. Click on update effect. And scroll down again. We're going to click on update style. Go back to the front of our website. Let's refresh and see how it looks now. And we can see now the width of the images are exactly the same and so is the height. So that looks actually really quite nice. The other thing would be quite nice to change if we could get rid of this like if this bit text above the top says image. We don't really need that. So we're going to go back to our content styles for this. So we're going to go back to content type. We're going to click on manage fields. We're going to click on dis display. Manage display. And we'll go down and we're going to go to our, where it says, you see here, we see it says label. We're going to go down to our image label and we're going to make this hidden. 
So then we just go click on save and we're just going to refresh it again. Okay, so now we can see the labels now hidden and both images are exactly the same size. So that's looking a lot nicer than it did. Uh, we still got work on the rest of the display of this, but we're, we're making good progress. So well done.